Subconscious Signals of Body Language – How to Read People Hello guys, welcome back to Alpha Show, a channel that will completely change your life from negative to positive and make you the person you always wanted to be. After this video, you'll learn how to read body language perfectly and understand what people aren't really saying but is expressed. What people say goes way beyond words. In this video, I'll be sharing science-backed tips for analyzing people's subconscious signals like facial expressions and gestures. You'll know what they're thinking after you've mastered the subconscious signals of body language. Every day in our interaction with people, so much information is passed. You give out information and receive as well in epic proportions. Some information is received explicitly, while others are gotten through unspoken words. In fact, a UCLA research has shown that just 7% of communication is based on the actual words we say. 38% comes from tone of voice and the remaining 55% comes from body language. While a chunk of information is processed from communication, a sizable amount of details are often perceived from body language as well, and that's what I'm going to be talking about in this video. Many times people don't say what they actually mean, but with the special ability to deciphering subconscious signals, you can easily tell to a great measure what's going on in their mind. This can be done to your advantage if properly done. It could even save you from trouble on some occasions. So, next time you're in a class discussion or a social gathering or even on a date, watch for the following subconscious signals of body language to know what's on the mind of others. Number 1. Crossed arms and legs Crossed arms and legs could signal resistance to your ideas. These parts of the body in such positions are physical barriers that suggest the other person is not really into what you're saying. Even if they're wearing a big smile and engaged in friendly talk, their body language gives you the clue. Communication experts Gerard I. Nirenberg and Henry H. Calero filmed over 2,000 negotiations for a book they wrote on reading body language. In the study, not even one ended in an argument when one of the parties had their legs crossed while negotiating. Psychologically, crossed arms or legs suggest that a person is emotionally, mentally and physically blocked off from what is in their front. It's not deliberate, which is why it's so telling. Number 2. Smiles. Real smiles crinkle the eyes. If you want to identify a genuine smile, the mouth can lie but the eyes can't. A genuine smile reaches the eyes, crinkling the skin to make its surroundings look like a bird's feet. People usually smile to conceal what they are feeling and thinking, so the next time you want to know if someone's smile is from the heart, look for crinkles at the edge of their eyes. If they aren't there, that smile is concealing something. Number 3. Copying Body Posture I touched on this in my previous videos on psychology tricks. You should check them out. When people copy our body posture, it's a signal that they're receptive to what we're saying. They cross or uncross their legs after you've done it, or they lean their head the same way you just did yours while you're walking. That's a good sign. In psychology, it's called the mirror effect. They're mirroring your body language unconsciously because they feel a bond with you. This can help you when you're negotiating because it shows that the other person is really interested in the deal. Number 4. Posture You might have seen a person walk into your room and instantly you know that they're the boss. That effect is most likely about body language and it usually includes an erect posture, gestures made with the palms facing down and expansive and open gestures in general. Our brain is hardwired to match power with the amount of space people take up. Standing up straight with your shoulders back is a power position. It seems to use the space you fill adequately. However, slouching is the result of crumbling your form. It seems to take up less space and shows less power. When you maintain a good posture, you tend to command respect and that makes engaging others easy, whether or not you're a leader. Number 5. Eyes. One of my favourite Scarface quotes is, The eyes, Chico. They never lie. But do the eyes really say the truth always? Many of us grew up with our parents telling us to look in their eyes when talking to them. They want to know the truth and taking our eyes off theirs would mean that the guilt of lying made us do so. But some people have perfected the skill of literally lying to the face of others. Here's the psychological trick. People sometimes overcompensate and hold eye contact for a protracted period just to make you believe that they're saying the truth. At this point, it can make you feel uncomfortable. So, if you're talking with someone whose stare is making you squirm, especially if they're very still and not blinking their eyes, then they're probably lying to you. 
Number six, raised eyebrows. Raised eyebrows could signal discomfort. Three major emotions make your eyebrows go up, surprise, worry, and fear. Try raising your eyebrows when you're having a relaxed, casual conversation with a friend. It's difficult to do, isn't it? If somebody who is talking to you raises their eyebrows and the topic isn't one that would logically cause worry, surprise or fear, something else must be going on. Number seven, nodding. Exaggerated nodding signals can mean anxiety about approval. When you're telling someone something and they nod excessively, this can be a sign that they're worried about what you think of them or that you doubt their ability to follow your instructions. Number eight, clenched jaw. A clenched jaw and tightened neck are signs of stress. Irrespective of what the person is saying, these are signs of significant discomfort. The conversation might be tending towards something they're anxious about, or their mind might be elsewhere and they're focusing on the thing that is stressing them out. Watch for that difference between what the person says and what their tense body language is screaming. In conclusion, if you can't read a person's exact thoughts, you can learn a lot from their body language. And that's especially true when words and body language don't tally. What other body language cues do you look for? Share your thoughts below in the comments section.